Welcome to Inside Leisure World, episode number 69. You know the name Inside Leisure World. My guest today is Tom Barrett. And Tom is the president of the Golden Rain Foundation. So our name Inside Leisure World, at least today, we're going to get the inside of the inside of Leisure World. Wouldn't that be a pretty fair way of putting oh, it, Tom? I'll be interested to find out. Okay. <laughs> but listen, before we determine or define just what the president does and what the Golden Rain right. Foundation is, let me ask you a question. When you, we've been in Leisure World about the same time. You right. moved in 91, 92, something Na like that. 93, right. 93, and I got here in 90. Okay. And when, not to put words in your mouth, but when I bought in Leisure World, uh, I thought that, uh, you know, I'd have, have an apartment that I could do anything I wanted to do with, within reason, subject to rules and regulations, and that uh, I would probably be uh, governed by a, if you will, a homeowners association of some sort. And I might say that when I moved in, I didn't get my booklet of rules and regulations until after I got my key, so I didn't right. get, that's not true as it's handled now, but that's the way it did. Right. Uh, how about you? Did it work the same way? Yeah, well, we, we actually bought our place in December, and it closed while we were living in Chicago still, so everything we learned when we bought the place, we'd forgotten by the time we got here in September. But did you get your, your rules and regulations before you got the key or after? I think we may have gotten it when we got the key. Same difference. Well, same okay. thing, I think yeah. so, yeah. Now, today, I don't, I don't think that's true. I think you get... Well, you have a lot more to close your statements, yeah, right. You got it. But anyway, that's what I really thought, that we would have an association of sorts. But the, the reality of it all, that's not exactly a true statement, is it? Well, yeah. You have to remember that the, there are two, really two, two, two groups that, that, that affect your life in Leisure World. One is your mutual. Mm -hmm. And your mutual is really the homeowners association that we, we both thought we were moving right. into. Then there's the Golden Rain Board. The Golden Rain Board has two functions. It functions as the, the manage, management for the the trust properties, the main streets, the name streets, the, all, the, all the recreation facilities, the clubhouses, this kind of thing. It also has a function where it provides support for the mutuals. You know, we do the service maintenance mm -hmm. function, we do administration for the mutuals, we provide the mutual secretaries for the mutual meetings, which sometimes gets people thinking that we have a, have a, a function with the mutuals, but the mutuals are really independent. There are really 16 independent corporations which control the areas in which they, they function. So, yeah, you do have a homeowners association and it's your mutual board. So within that, also on that board, I might add also, and Tom, you were, I'm sure you were probably a director right. on your board and then went to president and then to your current position, right. correct? And you, of course, were a director for some time. I was a director for three years, and, and but I was still working then. Right. And uh, the rigors of my insurance agency were as such that I finally had to resign. Right. When it came time for re-election, right. I, I chose not to, to opt up again. Right. Um, which was, you know, I kind of missed that to some extent because that was a lot of fun. But let me ask you this, that when you were a director, then your problems were only involving things within that mutual and not involving anything, as you just pointed out, uh, with using the golf course or no. the weight room or, exactly. or any of those things at all because that would have all been in, 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 re in, in reality what you're doing now. Exactly, exactly. Anything to do, anything to do with, us, with any, any, any community-wide facilities is all done by the Golden Rain Board and the, anything for the, for the upkeep of the buildings where you live is a mutual. And each mutual has a Golden Rain representative or a Golden Rain director. Correct? Exactly. But remember that Golden Rain director is elected independently of the mutual that. board. So they run and they really they bring they sort of are, are they do some coordination between the, the two boards, but they really don't have there's no have no official function in, in the mutual operation of the mutual. They are not part of the pol policy setting That's at all right. within the mutual. Nor nor do they vote on any motions with you know, Oh correct. If, if yeah. so. It would also be true to say that 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 representative really represents, it's kind of a two-way street, represents possibly the residents' interests in the mutual as well as a carrier of information from 
the Golden Rain Board. Would both those statements be yes, correct? Yes, I think that's true. The mutual, mutual, the Golden Rain representative represents the people of his mutual. Plus, he also carries information from the right. mutual yeah, board up thing. to the yeah. up to the okay. Golden Ring, and then carries information back both ways. Yes, he is. He is. A, he does the move. Communicates both ways. I think. Ian, when you and I both, uh, th this this question is uh, is you can defer on this one. You can say I don't think I want to get there. Go there. Uh, when you and I both bought, and uh, he was in a different mutual than I was. Right. In fact, I've owned in two mutuals. Right. And. Uh, so I've had the, the, I guess, the good fortune, or the bad fortune, or, or the fortune of being under two sets of different mutual rules. Exactly. One in mutual, this mutual, and one in this mutual. Right. And of course, you've had one. Um, within that, why is it, I don't know if you have the answer to that, but why is it that prior to you and I buying, that we, that we didn't have the ability to know that what was okay in your mutual was different than in my mutual. Why is there? And I, I'm really putting you on the spot. Well, with this I don't know. That, I don't know that it really matters. That that that. It, but it is. It's true that it, what what is done in one mutual is not done in another mutual. Uh, and in fact, when you look at the the rule of policies, you'll find that that uh, this is the, this is the policy for for five mutuals and mutual. I understand that. But I think you. Normally, what they what, what what's tried to be done is when you buy in a mutual, you meet with the mutual board, normally a president or a member mm -hmm. representing, and they they tell you what's what's done there. I think that, uh, and we of course have always have stressed that that it's different, and we've always tried to push. I used to know as mutual president, try to explain that 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 what was done in one mutual is not necessarily done in another mutual, uh, and I think it, it's just. I don't I don't mean that's all after the fact though. I'm saying well, no. This is when we were, when we're interviewing the person before they buy. When they, when they during, that, during that interview, you know, when you're buying the unit. No, no, I understand, Tom. I mean, yeah. I did not, yeah. this is not going to be an argument. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> now, what I mean by that is that yes, you're going to find out from the, that particular mutual, you know, the goods and the bads, right. mostly goods. Right. Okay. Because really, these worlds a neat place to live. So this right. is not. A, I'm not. I'm not looking at this. But you can do coming at it from an yeah. argumentative standpoint. Well, but you can do certain things. Like for instance, some some mutuals you may have a bay window that touches the ground. Right. Right. Other mutual issues, you can have a bay window that doesn't touch the ground. Right. It, it, and those in other ones, you can't have a bay window, window at all. Or, 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 yeah, that's right. So, but those are just those become because each each mutual board is a group of volunteers who do their own thing when they do what they think is best for their mutual. So, it really you have to know what's going on in your mutual. You really can't make a standard for all for the whole thing. I'm not suggesting for one yeah. minute that it should be that yeah. way, but from a prospective buyer standpoint, and this is the point I was really trying to get to, is I just had some friends that I've known for you know. 50 years yeah. moved in the leisure hunt. They didn't know I was here. I didn't know they were. So, oh gosh, I didn't know you lived here. Yeah, blah, blah. Uh, and of course, I've been to their place and they've been to my place. And uh, they've bought, they have a real nice place. And, you know, and they wanted to say, well, how come you have this and you have this and you have this? Because like, in my mutual, I don't, I don't have seen it at any place. Like, so, here's my question, I guess, yeah. really, is that. Why hasn't there been. I don't know whether this is the Golden Rain Foundation bit to do or not, but it seems to me like there should be a compilation of, of all the mutuals that says, hey, these are, the, all, these are all the things you can do in this, in, this, in this mutual. Here's all the things you can do in this mutual to the prospective buyer, because the buyer that buys in a mutual that says, hey, now we don't allow that and that, and he talks to somebody who says, well, yeah, gosh, I barbecue in my place all the time. Well, they won't be barbecuing. I'm using that I as a, I as a that, tiny <laughs> example. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't think it's, it's Golden Range's responsibility to do it, number one. I'm not sure you can do that because they, things move from, from, from mutual to mutual. I think that's going to have to always be that way when you have 16 different corporations. The most you can do is explain to a buyer that, the, that what's happening in the mutual they're interested in. Well, I'm, I would be inclined to agree, but it's, it does seem kind of... kind of kind of unfortunate, I guess, yeah. that the, then if that's the case, the realtors don't say, um, and, and it's easy to say something good and bad at the same time. So you say, this mutual is really good because of all these things. There's a couple things they don't let you do. Because we're talking the exceptions, not rules here. Because by and large, most of the rules, most of the union, uh, unions, most of the mutuals are, I mean, they, they're they pretty liberal on, on virtually all subjects. Yeah. You know, and I, I just wondered about that. Also, along the same lines, uh, when we, uh, going back to our respective purchases, we did get two pieces of stock. Right. We got one in, if you will, the Golden Rain 
Foundation. Right. 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 That took, takes care of all the things you're talking about. Exactly. And we also got one within the mutual that represents a share of and mutual of the of the apartment that we live in. Exactly. We live in. Correct. Okay. Other than voting for our Golden Rain member, mm -hmm. what other voting rights do we have? Uh, well, two. You, you, have, you, you, vote, you vote for your, your mutual board, too. And the mutual well, certain, that, that, but and of course, and that's 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 all the voting that you do because we're we we operate the same way the the government the government does. So we're over a, a business corporation. You don't vote on any other. You know the the boards or your rep representatives represent you, and they vote on all the other functions. So they they would only time, other times you would vote if you were changing the bylaws. Correct. So that would be no, the only other time you'd no, vote. No, I knew the answer to that question, Tom, before I asked it. Right. But there's a lot of people that don't are not aware of that is the correct answer. Exactly. You know right. that. Uh, that because we we live in I live live in four as an example so that because I live in four that means that I as a quote unquote stockholder in mutual four that allows me to to uh, uh, set policy in mutual four and that's not true at all no right and it's not meant to be true and uh, uh, I don't know how it could work any way other than the way it works no I don't no I think that you know, the last the last uh, pure democracy was Carthage. And the Roman Italians <laughs> were at the gate before they voted on uh, declaring war. Right. Let me ask you this, Tom: Of how many directors are there totally? Then, at, I used to know the answer, but you have an annual Christmas luncheon for all yeah. the directors. There's a hundred. There's a, there were there were 137 directors, and now Mutual Two has added one more director. So now 138 directors. There are 18 Golden Rain directors, and all the rest are Mutual right. directors. And so. all those people are paid tremendous sums of money, right? Yeah, they all they, yeah, they, they all, all get, get, actually get the same salary, don't they? They all get the same salary, yeah, which of course is zero. zero. Right, zero. It's interesting that a that a, a community, you know, numbering almost what nine thousand nine thousand closely, yes, um, uh, are the man hours that are volunteered and given freely yeah. uh, by all those people. Did anybody ever add those up to, to, to come up no, with I a have number? No and idea there'd be no way, to, well, no way of really knowing some anyway. Work, some work, a, work 100 hours a oh, month yeah, and some yeah, work, work 10 yeah, hours a month. Yeah, but, yeah, but, you know, that's the secret of our community because no other leisure role works exactly the same way. The leisure role like Laguna, Laguna Hills or Laguna Woods uh, has the Golden Rain Board is the controlling board and the mutual boards below are really just subject of the, to the, uh, the Golden Rain Board. We're the only one where everyone's independent and yeah. run it. And if you take... You know, the Mutual 15 was uh, an example of how gold, how Leisure World Laguna Hills was built. So the first three developments in Laguna Hills were exactly the same as Mutual 15 in various buildings. Mm -hmm. There's 11, 11 different combinations. Approximately $100 a month less we, we pay than they pay. And that difference, I think that difference is clearly tied into the fact that we have the volunteers doing the work and, and saving us the money. I have heard this, although I have not heard it said recently, that Leisure World is probably one of the best kept secrets in Orange County. And uh, for our viewing audience that doesn't live in Leisure World, uh, I would imagine, you can correct me if I'm wrong, Tom, but I would imagine the average quote-unquote association fee that we pay probably is $300 a month. Yes, but don't forget that also includes your property tax. Well, I know that. No, which, which I'm, I'm saying yeah. all inclusive. You know, no, we, everything. Every, that's yeah. you're right. But you know, a lot of people think the association fee is that much, but really, no, no, the no, association fee is probably maybe two, two, two ten, and your property taxes another, another, another ninety bucks. I mean, it's it's a, it's the best bargain in the world. Yeah. I think what we all realize is a great bargain when we move here. I mean, yeah, after, after we've been here a few years, yeah. we begin to we begin to not realize yeah, yeah. how much we have. I mean, when you consider what a one bedroom apartment sells for, goes for renting and leased in uh, Seal Beach. Oh yeah. It's yeah. just just Big amazing bucks. what Big bucks. Right. And we, we also get our uh, waters in that. So the only thing we have to pay, depending on our, how, how wildly you want to live, it, it would be is electricity, cable television, television, telephone. And that's it. What did I forget? That's it. That's it. Oh, well, food, but food, but everyone. Well, yeah, but yeah, no matter where you get, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a gimme, you know, so to speak. But I mean, that's it. I yeah. mean, really, it's amazing for... Uh, for, for less than, than well, in, in ours, for less than $400, you get all those things taken care of. Yeah, that's all the upside. I guess the only downside is that when you do move to Lee's World, if you're contemplating that, you're going to need a bag of money to get in because we don't finance. That's right. That's you, right. Know, you know, it's just it's hard cash on the barrel. But it's a, it is a great place to live. And, uh, Tom, let's get back to, we've talked about a lot of things, but not so much 
what your role specifically is as the Golden Rain Foundation president as such. Okay. Uh, well, I get a chance to sign 12,000 documents a year because all, all, all the, that's probably my biggest job. I have to sign all the, all the documents for every sale that goes through these rules I have to sign off on. And then I get a chance to attend nine, nine uh, committee meetings a month. And uh, then I get a chance to do the, op the open board meeting. I get a chance to, to appoint uh, committees and to organize the things we look into. The, the administration runs the day-to-day -day operation of Leisure World. Mm -hmm. And the Golden Rain Board and the committees uh, look at the future and look at planning. And, and we're, we do mostly planning and uh, trying to make things better, not, not, not involved in the day-to-day -day operations. So uh, if, if something has to be repaired or, or maintained, that's, that's taken care of by the staff. But we're, we're looking at, at things for the future, what we, what we can do to make the place a better place to live. Let me ask you this, and I'll cite two, two examples, if I may. When we built the medical, the new medical building, right. like four years ago, I guess, something oh, like five, yeah. it's been a whatever a that time was, ago. What it seemed like <laughs> forever. Uh, and your host here is one of these guys that never gets sick, right? I mean, I go to the, the medical yeah. thing, you know, once a year for my annual physical, and right. I'll see, he says, I'll see you next year, Bob. And, yeah. So if anybody could be objective about that, I suppose I could in the respect by saying uh, we should or shouldn't have spent that money. Right. Because I personally when I have not, and probably, well, I can't say it won't, but up to now I've not, really not benefited by it. Right. Yet, I thought, was, I thought for sure we should have done that. Well, you know, yeah, I, I, I should say one thing. You benefited it by, by a, at the cost of $5 a month since, since it was opened. That aside. Okay. That aside. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, as far as benefiting I mean, with the well, use I should, I should of explain the facility. I mean. we, when yeah. we built the new building, we had, we doubled the rent, and that rent was all passed by back to the residents as as a as a rebate on their on their on their on their uh, their, their monthly fees. So uh, we built it for a couple reasons. We built it number one because we needed to modernize the place. We needed oh, to get by services, yes. and the other other place was was forty years old. Was way way in in, in uh, it was not couldn't couldn't be repaired again. But and we it, we did at the same time. Uh, take advantage of the fact that uh, we're what's called a catchment in the medical phraseology. We're a catchment, so it gives the clinic is a place for the the hospital to to to, to receive patients from. And we took advantage of that fact to, to make to make the thing to build the, the building and to return the money to the, the residents. So it it, it, was a, it was a it was a win thing for us, I think. Oh, I do too. Yeah. No, I think that uh, and you, not to, and you forgot to mention. Of course, there was flood damage from the flood of exactly ninety five again. Ninety five, right? And uh, it, it, something had to be done to it anyway. Yeah. And the cost of refurbishment it would have been, you know. But the point I made in even bringing that up was that we, as the residents of Leisure World, were never given the ability to say we agree with expending all this money. Re forget all the fringes for a second. Right. I mean, but that's right. Well, that's because that's the way we're. Operating. I understand right. that. And uh, and of course, and of course, the reason I brought that up, and there was a for the viewing audience, there was a lot of furor over that yeah. at that time, boy. Uh, but this, I bet you no one would, would want to move back to the old building again. Right. Yeah. And uh, but anyway, uh, I mean, the end of the story has a happy ending, but there was a lot of controversy oh, yeah. over that. Well, I'll tell uh, you one that was even worse, and that that is a residence inn. We know they, when you and I were first coming here, they wanted to build a residence oh, inn. Oh yeah. And which would have been an ideal thing. We, you know, people leave Leisure World for one of three reasons: your 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 children live somewhere else in the country, and you're getting That's too right. old, and you want to be close to them, or or you die, mm -hmm. or you get or too worse, <laughs> or, or you are you are you are you are you get too ill to right. live on your own. Yeah. And really, w that was an ideal thing for people to move into that where they had a, had a place where they could still be a part of the community, attend their churches, everything else. And you know, that was a mistake. And it was brought down because of a small group of people. Opposed it so violently that that the that the board backed out of doing it. Well, there was uh, a lot of people that opposed the uh, the shopping center over the freeway too. Yes, you know, I mean, I, I and which I thought, you know, that that was why would you oppose that? You know, I mean, you live in Seal Beach, where you know the the city itself is not exactly loaded, and I'm really being <laughs> real kind when I say not exactly yeah, loaded. Right. We are basically bankrupt. You know, that's right, and we only have one one source of income, and that's, that's right, that sales tax. That's right. That's it. Yep. You know, because uh, most of the, not, not all, but many of the homes here that are sold never change title. You know? That's right. <laughs> Gee whiz, That's they're just, they're, if, if they're even sold, you know, Johnny gets it and then Johnny gives it to his son and so forth and so on. But, uh, and then the other thing is, recently, uh, and the building is under construction now, that right. would be our new clubhouse, uh, I guess I wondered, and, and 
I guess I've often wondered that, yes, I agree to the way we're governed, mm -hmm. okay? But it would seem to me like that when, when we're talking about expending large sums of money, and I'm not talking about tens of thousands, yeah. I'm talking about hundreds of thousands yeah. or even millions in some instances, and I'm really surprised that, that they at least don't, they meaning you guys, <laughs> at least if you will, and if you do, I never hear about it, at least get the tenor, uh, the, the pulse of what the feeling is regarding those two especially. Well, well but you, you, you can't, because obviously if you, didn't, if you don't like what's happening, you can change the directors in the next election. Oh, I understand that. So then I, think, I think that's the only, only logical way to do it. I mean, I think that you really can't, no matter what project you have, there's someone's going to be against it. So all, all the board that's can true. do, all the board can do is take a look at, at the, the, the pros and cons, the advantages and disadvantages of a project, and, 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 vote, and do it to what they think is best they can do. And I think to put it out any bit further than that just muddies the water. Okay, there would be, I'm not one of them, but there would certainly be some people that would, that would be opposed well, am, to I that. Understand you know. that. Uh, only, uh, interesting, in the city council, I don't, I don't know if you watch those, I never miss those, there'll be city council meetings or the planning commissions, because those are both not only educational, sometimes they're quite humorous. Right. Uh, and in some, in, 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 I, I, want, I want to get specific, but uh, there are some of the same people that attend all those meetings where yeah. there's public comments and we have the same people, people getting up talking about every, every time. what they, you know, are against, or very, very rarely for, but what they're against right. in, in Seal Beach. Uh, I would suppose to some extent, uh, on a much, much smaller scale, you guys get some of that in your Golden Rain meetings. But Some of it, not, but not, not, not to the nothing, scale, uh, not to the scale, but not to, we have, that, that, the government, you know, corporate, corporate government and co corporate governance and, and, and governing by uh, municipal bodies are fortunately different, covered by different laws, and, and the, the ones for the municipal laws more, give you more of that, I think, than, than, than we do in corporate. Yeah. I would hope that anybody is, that's watching this particular program has not, has not got the idea that I, as a resident, are unhappy with Leisure World. It's a great place to live. It really is. Uh, however, in the course of a year or, or years gone by, there is, there is always some controversy, and I think that has a lot to do with not whether we're governed right or wrong, but the fact that sometimes that we don't have any input, and I understand the reasons that you've given. And uh, ironically, uh, I, I, I'm not speaking out of with forked tongue on either side of my mouth because I was all in favor of the medical center and uh, I, and I'm all in favor of of the new building. Right. Uh, I would hope. Well, I'll stop there. Okay, I won't go any further <laughs> than that. Tom, we got about four minutes to go on the show. Can you believe that we've already no, destroyed <laughs> 25 minutes? If you can, if you can believe that. As long as I got you here. What would you like to talk about in relation to uh, maybe the immediate future of Leisure World as you see it? I know you've got about a year left to go or a little yeah. more well, than actually a year. Well, actually, I've got four months left to go. Four months. Four months. But sure. I, we call it a short timer, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, short timer. Short timer. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think, that it, it, we, I think we need to push the fact that we're, we're 40 years old. Mm -hmm. We need to look at the community. We are doing that right now. The, for instance, the mutuals are going through all the uh, electrical systems in the mutual and to find out, make sure what, where we, how yeah. they, how, make sure they're, they're up to date, make sure the few, the uh, circuit breakers work. And we're finding small, small problems, not big problems. We, we've over the years replaced uh, uh, receptacles for, for, for plugs and this mm -hmm. kind of thing. But we're, we're, we're coming, we're looking at now at the plumbing, the sewer system. Uh, we, for instance, have sewer pumps in these worlds. It's our, we have to pump the sewer stuff out of Leisure World we, we're, because we are so low anyhow, we don't, you can't grab gravity. We're finding the pumps were 40 years old and, and, and some of them were, not, were barely functioning. We've now gone back and we're making repairs to bring these systems back up to date. I think that this is true both for the mutuals and the golden ring. Mm -hmm. We're in a, a period of time sure. of, of looking at the infrastructure. You know, we're very, very lucky. The mortgages are now paid off and we don't have to worry about that. We now have the we now have the capability of bringing the system up to to today's standards so that we it runs well. We uh, we were fortunate in the boards before I was on the board uh, started doing the roads. The roads were I guess in not too great condition when you moved in there and I moved yeah, in. Yeah, we here. had a few potholes. And yes. uh, we, over a five year program, we brought the roads back up to a really pretty good standard right now. You find very very few potholes. We have a a, 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 a continued maintenance situation now, and we need to to. to People need to understand that that's, we need to maintain. You know, we need to, uh, 
it may not make a difference to you or I what, what the place sells for when, when we finally go away, but it will make a difference to our area. No, I'll be gone. I won't care. That's you know, right. But it also <laughs> it needs, it needs to keep the flow. It, doesn't, it needs to be kept up. And I think we, maintenance and improvements are, are really critical to, to the, the, the next few years of uh, what's going to be happening in the leisure world. In talking to, um, I had Bill Erickson was on the show a couple of months right. ago, um, and talking about, uh, you know, we just, uh, like many of the other mutuals, just paid off our mortgage, and uh, the question was what to do with, now that we, the 40 or $50 a month, uh, right. whatever that was, what are we going to do with that? And, and um, I have a director living right next door to me, and I said, I hope we're not going to do anything for a while. and. And even though I said you're going to get a lot of flack, I'm sure from people, yeah, well, you, let's, you know, uh, uh, geez, you need to you know, give us money back or yeah, lower right. or whatever. We have to be very careful in looking at the reserve funds and, and, and know the question is going to be how much reserves we need. And when we're sure oh, yeah. the reserve funds are right and we're sure yeah. that, that the, the units are made up, then that, that, we, that money can be put back, can be can put back. Yeah. But, you know, for instance, we, uh, uh, about five years ago, well, five, five years ago, insurance companies started. Uh, rebating insurance. We, we, mm -hmm. There was a lot, a lot of competition, and, and rates went way, way down, and we uh, gave that money back every year. Now, all of a sudden, we had 9-11 nine, nine occurred, and the workers' comp uh, has had a, a number of bankruptcies in the workers' comp companies, and all of a sudden, premiums have gone way up. Now, mm -hmm. we're, premiums have gone way back up, not as high as they once were. Once we paid over a million dollars a year in, in, in property casualty type of insurance premiums, we now pay about 800000 but we were down to 500000 I know. At, Two or three years ago, so things things move around. You know, things are not every, never every year is the same in budgets. You know, hopefully, I think we're coming to a point now where insurance may level off. Hopefully, we won't I think the, the the biggest problem is that 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 the majority of the people that say, "When am I going to get a reduction right. or a cash settlement or whatever?" overlook the most obvious that where they're living, for most intent and purpose, are thirty nine or forty years old. Right. I mean, the building itself. Exactly. Uh, I mean, we do. We still have things like called termites. You know, yes, right, not to right. mention you know plumbing that's that's ancient yeah. and all that sort of good stuff. Um, and my mutual, I wish you probably wouldn't say that, but my mutual so far has made no, and which is fine. I mean, from my perspective, right. not I'm not speaking with the mutual. I'm speaking my right. perspective is, I don't know how they can until they have have really had the ability to evaluate. In addition to the various funds they have, mm -hmm. because we don't have a replacement fund for everything, and nobody does. No, that's right. You know, so I mean, so how do you, how can you, you know? Well, I think, you know, that's, that'll probably work. Ah, oh, that is, doesn't really work that way. So I would, I would hope that uh, all of the mutuals are looking at it the same way, and I think they are. I think they are. You have to figure, you have to figure out what it's going to cost to replace something, and how soon oh, it's yeah. going to be, and that's yeah. going to be, and, what, and then make how you get to that point as far as the money. How are we doing time-wise there, Mr. Floor Manager? Ooh, hey, look at there. Tom, I got to say thank you. My goodness, they're, they're running the credits already. Okay. I told you the fast half an hour on TV. It just took a little while to get started. Hey, thank you so much for, for being on this show. It was, uh, I would hope, it was an informing. It was an informing. I enjoyed it very much. To the audience as it was to me. Okay. And uh, you're, uh, you're a good guest. You're, you're fun to interview. You know? And uh, this is called Happy Talk now. So if you look over there, you can see Happy the monitor see. there. And... Uh,